The Addis Ababa City Deputy Mayor Adanacha Bibi has inaugurated Shiromeda Cultural Clothing Market Mall, which is expected to benefit more than 1,000 citizens. The Shiromeda Cultural Clothing Market, which is built on an area of 2,000 square meters, is said to have created more jobs for the youth and women from Gulali subsidy, as well as traders who lost their jobs due to road expansion. During the occasion, the Addis Ababa city mayor called on the community to further develop their artworks, which haven't been given due attention for too long and failed to collect the expected income from costumes. The art is produced by the hands of the wise men who wave trenches of different colors. As the secret of splendor and identity through it hasn't been given due attention for too long. These cultural clothes are our country's manifestation of the beauty and unity of masses, which unites the ideas, language, culture, and beliefs of all nations. The mail is close to Intoto Park and offering traditional costumes to tourists. It will increase the source of income. So I, I call on the young people who use the mail to enter the market by providing high-quality Ethiopian clothing that emphasizes social, bright, and beautiful to further boast the sector more than ever. The cultural shopping mall, which is 380 shops, has been built at a total cost of 30 million per. Within these 380 Shromeda cultural clothing sheds, it's believed to possibly assure to create opportunities for more than 980 used job seekers drawn from the 10 warders in the subsidy, and as well as for 135 cultural clothing traders who lost their jobs due to the road expansion. The market center is also expected to produce various culture clothes through creating linkages and building the producer and consumers to increase their profit and is also hope to attract various tourists who will come to visit in Toto Park that is pivotal to both the tourism industry through increasing the foreign exchange earnings. Now, Ethiopia should modernize its trade system in order to take part in the international trade system. The remark came as Ethiopia has launched an online business registration and licensing system. Emmanuel Jorge has more. So far, over 2.3 million business licenses have been registered in Ethiopia. Modernizing the trade system is believed to involve more people in the country's economic activities. Noting that Ethiopia is currently at the base in a row of countries with good electronic trade system, Ethiopian Trade Minister Melaku Alebel said launching an online business registration and licensing system will play a significant role in modernizing the trade system. <laughs> As it is indicated with a survey on e-governance conducted in 2020, the data shows that countries are taking several measures to facilitate their socio-economic growth. But when we see our country's level in the world, it ranked 170 A's out of 193 countries in the world. This shows that much work has not been done yet and expected from us. Therefore, launching an online business registration and licensing system will raise our ranking in ease of doing business internationally. It will also help increase the flow of foreign direct investment to our country and has some other benefits. Ethiopian Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Affairs Minister Demek Amakonan said modernizing the trade system and fulfilling necessary requirements in order to take part in the international trade system is a remarkable measure. We are performing different activities in order to be part of the international trade system. One significant task to link our country with the international trade system and to reform our national trade system is joining the World Trade Organization. When we join that, it requires full preparation in a way that keeps and secures our national interest. We should be good competitors there. To do so, the launching of an online system is a very encouraging and determinant step forward. 
The Deputy Prime Minister urged all stakes to play their role in implementation of the online business registration and licensing system. <laughs> The online business registration and licensing system which we are launching today needs effort from all of us for the implementation. In this regard, it requires readiness from each and every level of persons and offices. Mauritius is a country with the best trade system in Africa and ranks 12th in the world. Rwanda is the second in Africa and 38th in the world. Therefore, much work needs to be done for Ethiopia to compete with these countries.